coming from? Oh, sick. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today you join me for a POV drive inside an EP3 Civic Type R. This bad boy runs 500 brake horsepower. Serious specification on this car, which we'll go over in a second. But yeah, every time I get an EP3, absolutely love them. So yeah, this is one of them ones. I'm like doing the adverts. I'm like, you know what? Let's get a video on it. But anyway, we're gonna shoot because there's a car there. So let's go. First thing I'm gonna say to you, the torque steer is like just crazy torque steer. It's like lag, 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 and then when it comes on, the explosion is just another level. You can't get on boost through here. It's very unpredictable. The alignment done on this, very aggressive. But let's go over just some of the modifications on this car. So it's got, let's brake quick. Oh my God. We have got Brembo brakes, which is just, man, the stopping power, the tires. This car's got everything. So I mean, let's just go over a bit of the specifications. So it's obviously a K20 EP3 Civic Type R. As mentioned, 500 horsepower. Apparently this car was supercharged before it was converted to uh, turbo. And the engine itself is fully built. So usually these EP3s, you just bolt a turbo in and you can do four or 500 horsepower. But this one's got a fully built block, fully built head. And I'm talking everything, pistons, rods. It's had valves, valve springs, retainers. Of course, the bigger turbo. I'm not sure what the turbocharger is on this car. It didn't say it in the spec. It's got an upgraded limited slip differential. We've got aftermarket suspension. Guys, look at the steering wheel we've got the Mugen I'm not sure if it's an actual Mugen steering wheel but third gear boy man this is flipping fast we've got genuine TE37s on it as well this is scary on boost man like round these kind of roads it's making me not really want to get on Yes, it's got the TE37s with AR1 tyres. These are semi-slick. They're literally like racing tyres. You've got shit loads of traction. Third gear. Is it third gear? It feels like bloody fifth. Whoa. This is aggressive on boost, man. Wow. This car is so well set up, man. Um, when they're set up like this, you can't take them over roads with these kind of undulations. Like, the camber's just completely off for a car like this. It's even got a half cage. We've got the car rope, pole position, bucket seats. The whole dash as well, it's been flocked. The steering wheel diameter is just perfect. This is a very special car, guys. I fucking love it. Only a few cars have come in that I've actually kept. This is borderline like, oh man, I should keep this thing. But it's such a cool car for one of you to win. Like, how can I keep this for myself? Boy, she's a monster. The front end is so pointy, so precise. Fucking lovely, lovely lads. These Civic Type R's, for me, they are like a front wheel drive M3, man. I don't give a shit. For the price that you can pick up an EP3, do basic fundamental mods like suspension, lightweight wheels, sticky tires, upgrade the brakes, a nice little alignment. 
you've got a car that is very very well balanced don't get me wrong 500 horsepower it's um you could say it's probably a little too much money too much money a little too much power but as a lot of you know the civics you can just beat the shit out of these k20s and this one's obviously built we need a nice long straight to show you what this thing's like so yeah you know with some of these upgraded lsds the diffs can be a little bit noisy on the motorway like what is going on like like this car feels every bit 500 brake horsepower i have not been in many cars that a front wheel drive that tugged me around like that especially on a motorway like what is going on boy that sounds sick you dumb bro I think bang for your buck, it don't get better than this people, it does not. I don't care what you want to say, the engine don't sound cool, that sounds fucking militant. Flat in the front. <laughs> sick. Mate, she sounds sick. Hear that fucking bonnet exit screamer. That is what you want from your hot hatch, man. Or should I say, when it comes to modifying the car, they're the kind of sounds you want to hear. You can turbocharge these things for like four or five grand and you got four or five hundred horsepower easy. For the record, this car is actually on the website as well. Tickets are put up super cheap, like 29p. Check out some of the mods on this. It's like every last thing has been ticked off. The previous owner must have been a madman. Like to build an engine on one of these, you already know. You'd, talking 10 grand to build an engine it's even had head work guys normally you just forge the pistons and rods this is done he's done everything We've also got brembo brakes man yeah that is <laughs> that's fucking scary i'm not gonna lie to you the way that it's pulling me around it feels more than 500 horsepower man what's cool about these cars is you can pick up a k20 engine for pretty cheap swap it in gearboxes of peanuts as well the fact that this is built is what i'm trying to say by like, you know you can swap these engines out you can run them at 600 horsepower obviously pushing it but you gotta sit there and think mm, do i spend 10 grand for my engine make sure it's fully reliable can take all the boost that low down top or do i just blow my stock engine and just keep swapping them out for like 1500 quid got a golf behind with a front mount intercooler she must be running a bit of boost lads it's fucking heavy then this is cool right now i'm in a civic with 500 horsepower which most likely will probably kill this car behind but this is pretty fun like because i'm used to being in a 2000 brake gtr where it's like whatever mate but this now it's like could have a race on my hands right now yep gapped he didn't want none of that he didn't want fucking none of this mate absolutely wet his pants telling you wetted you know what I mean it'll come up sneaking behind me Come on, boost, man! Don't want to know nothing. Just give you lot one last hit. Get the windows down, cause why not? Ah, oh, you know, I love this car. She sounds sick. Didn't even mention the driving position in this car. Perfection. That is probably what has given me that touring car feel. Perfect, perfect driving position. On top of that, we've got a Recaro 
pole position bucket seat. So the, yeah, like I'm just sitting nice and upright. Hands are just perfectly holding this wheel and the diameter, the dimensions of the wheel. Anyway, fourth gear. me in a sec of course ticket link in the description 29b for your chance to win this car no word of a lie yeah one of the one of the best EP3 Civics I've been at in 100% some higher horsepower versions obviously you gotta do is swap the turbo out but the overall finish on this car yeah there's been no compromise with this project is being pre-spooled so it might be helping with removing a bit of lag so it almost feels like when I pre-spool my turbo or my G sorry when I used to pre-spool the turbo on the GTR you used to have like a rolling launch it feels like that every time I come on it's spooling up the turbo anyway till next time